Well, a lot of resources sent to the Atlantic Ocean to try to find this missing submersible. To give you an idea of where this is, it's about 900 miles east of Cape Cod and then about 400 some miles uh, south of St. John's. It is a search where time is a big factor in getting this missing crew back alive. So we're working very closely at this point uh, to make sure that we're doing everything that we can do uh, to locate uh, the submersible and rescue uh, those on board. Tonight, it's all hands on deck as the U.S. Coast Guard leads the search for a missing submersible. If you know how to play a video game, you can drive one of our subs. The submersible is called the Titan the work of Everett based Ocean Gate, which runs the private venture to explore the depth of the seas, specifically the wreckage of the Titanic found some 12,000 feet below the surface of the Atlantic Ocean, a project that King five profiled in 2022. That's Ocean Gate CEO Stockton Rush. You get to the bow and there's a, there's that moment of awe when you're you're looking at the bow and say, well, this is what I've seen so many times. For a quarter of a million dollars, so-called adventure tourists can purchase a ticket aboard the deep sea missions. According to the U.S. Coast Guard, the vessel was reported overdue Sunday evening. Earlier that morning, it made its final radio call just one hour and 45 minutes into its dive. A vessel that the company reports has enough oxygen to be underwater for a total of 96 hours. It is a, a remote area uh, and it is uh, a challenge to conduct a uh, search in that remote area. But we are deploying all available assets to uh, make sure that uh, uh, we can uh, locate uh, the craft and uh, uh, rescue uh, the, the people on board. The Coast Guard confirming five souls are aboard the small exploratory submersible, though for now won't reveal who those people are. A separate company called Action Aviation tweeting that UK businessman Hamish Harding, Hamish Harding, was on board the Ocean Gate sub submersible that's now missing. Ocean Gate says it's exploring and mobilizing all options to bring its crew back home safely. Greg, Jessica.